Brace for impact. It's media news and it's headed straight for you. Still no leggy blind anchors, but we're working on it. Media News, episode 146, The Charlie Horse Stakes. Hey folks, Kenny oh. Man here. Welcome once again to my video on house. It's time for... The really cool Media News. Hey, Ray Charles, folks. What's your Ray right? Charles. <laughs> Would you like me to sing Georgia? This is good old JR, and sure we're is. bringing you Media News from... This place. this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all new comics are always 15% off every day for everyone. This is Media News. Numbers on 146. So, it's going to be an all-franchise Media News. All franchise. All franchise. And you know what the great thing about having glasses? What? They are a prop because they you can go like this. You know what, comic book man? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm taking you much there more seriously a, now. There is a big story out there. <laughs> No, it is, it is actually... You need, to start, you need to start smoking because you always use the cigarettes as a prop. <laughs> Actors love that. Actors hey, love cigarettes in movies you, back in the 30s and 40s. They made a great prop. Hey, there's, there's <laughs> yeah, exactly. There. But any, any who's... Uh, universe, we talked about this story, Comic Book Man. Yes. Uh, it was there, Dark, Tower. Dark, Dark Tower. Tower. Dark Tower. It was going to be a movie and then a yes. TV series and then another movie and then another season of a yes. TV series. And then a radio show. And then a radio, and radio show, show and then some favorite. comic books. A series of novels. Then, oh, they did that already. And they were going to beam stuff <laughs> right in your heads. <laughs> Uh, it was going to be a comic strip in the Sunday paper. Clothesline. And one of those Bazooka Joe things you unwrap the gum with. And then they were going to put stuff on toilet paper so yeah. when you pull the sheets down, you can read wow, it. Wow, that would actually, boy, how desperate are we for entertainment? Universal has said, man, this is too ambitious for us. Oh, and, no balls. Yeah, so Stephen King fans, it's over. Not only oh, is, it, no is it over, it's over because this isn't even going to be shopped around. Universal has dropped the project. Dark Tower. Oh, Dark and Ron Howard, the director of the project, and and his yeah, his yeah. Other, other, Brian Grazer have yes. already moved on to other things. That's you know that's so a damn is, shame. It that, is a shame. That would it have been that would have actually been really really historic. I mean, you talk about Vegas. Talk about putting everything on one throw. Exactly. That would have had to have been an ass kicker of a series. But you know, movie TV movie TV jumping back and forth like that over four or five years, that would have been ambitious as hell. It and if it had, if it had worked. Oh, it, it would have been, been a huge. template setter because I think you would have started to see more of that kind of thing. And even oh, yeah. if it failed, let's say it came out and failed, I think the industry would have looked at that and said, man, Universal, nice try. I mean, maybe it failed, but that was really going on on a limb. And, well, it's all academic now, comic book movie. Any, any Any idea as to what was the final straw that... that monetary. That, that, it was just money. Monetary. Just Universal money. didn't want to pony up the dough to front end was supposed to be three movies and then yep. three series, three seasons of a TV series right. up front, and I think the initial cost just scared them off, basically. That's too bad. Yeah. That's too bad. I, you know, that, that type of idea, do something on TV and go to a movie or movie TV back and forth like that for maybe two seasons... I think that's a good idea, and I think somebody probably ought to revisit that. Yeah. I don't know, maybe somebody will. Maybe maybe a company that lives in Florida and has mice and, and comic book <laughs> characters, and well, you know, who could that be? I don't know. Or maybe 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 a comic book company that's in New York that has uh, that has that's you know, losing the guy with the red. Cape they're losing the guy with the red cape, and and making a movie about the guy with the red cape, and it's a very small making movie. a baby blanket out of it. And <laughs> don't go there. Don't go there. Yeah, whatever. But that. Stephen King fans, you don't have to be in complete. Completely sad no. because there is some more adaptations coming your way. A oh, AMC Television, the bastion yes. of, of quality these days outside of it. No, really. Well, I mean, well, yeah, outside of outside of the crummy movies they run well, and yeah. chop the hell out of. But they're they're getting more known for their television series efforts than anything else at well, this yeah. point. Outside of HBO, which seems to have the lock on that. But AMC Walking is, Dead, Breaking Bad, exactly. all that stuff. Uh, Pierce Brosnan will start a mini series version of Bag of Bones. It's a, okay. some sort of ghost story. I'm not familiar. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there who know what Bag of Bones is. But more yeah. Stephen King. Bag of Bones. Bag of Bones. Okay. Uh, Escape from New York. Uh, way back in the early 80s, uh, Kurt Russell was star of yeah. Escape from New York, a John Carpenter film. A sequel to, and I was, which made it, they made a sequel to. Crummy Carpenter. sequel, yeah, but a sequel to it. But, but Escape from New York was a great little film. It was one of the films that helped to recast uh, Kurt Russell. As as not the Disney, you know, right? That broke him from the one of the Disney kid who's people. swinging from a rope being the, the computer wore tennis shoes. shoes or whatever and, the hell it was. Wow! It, it actually executive. You know, barefoot executive, barefoot executive, that and the thing, that and the thing with the two. Yes. Anyway, yes. Warner's Carpenter. was talking about remaking that movie. They've been talking about remaking this for about three or four years now. We are, we are here at Media News are your bastion of bad news today, kids, <laughs> because yet another project that has bit El Dusto. Warner's has scrap plans to do an Escape from New York remake. That doesn't and, kill me all that much because no. that first film. Was was great uh well you know it is it, it's you know what that film first, is sorely in need of 
somebody taking it and just tweaking the effects a little bit because those are 1983 computer effects in that thing, story, which really looks stupid there's today. There's a story behind that. When, when John Carpenter made that film very quickly, the Reader's Digest version, he lobbied uh, Warner's at the time to have Industrial Light Magic do the special effects. Okay. And Warner said, they cost a lot. So that, that's why you have the effects you do in, in Escape from New York, the original. Well, I mean, the computer graphics they have in there are uh, yeah. 1983, 1984 computer graphics. I mean, they are really, really, yeah, you know, Pong they are type their stuff. Time. Yeah, it's a, it's a time capsule of, of special effects. But like Paramount has done with, uh, with Star, Star Trek, Trek and, and like whoever it is has done with Space 1999, which is now Space 2099 with brand new special effects <laughs> and the same old lousy scripts. Do they take a computer and make the scripts better? <laughs> no. No? Oh. No. But you know, with the effects of it, I've been tooled up on that. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's great. Someone ought to take Escape from New York and and run that through, uh, run it through the a bozo computer, computer? And fix it, fix, fix up it the, right up. Just a handful of effects they have. In that Why thing. not? Why not? All right. So, okay. do we have any more bad news coming for Brandon? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, Batman Begins, scribe and oh, yes. scribe yes. David Goyer. David Goyer, the man who who gives. But us this the... this could be good news. It's it's actually really good news because yeah. the last thing we really need is another American version of Godzilla. Yeah, I don't want. After the Matthew brought after the he who remained nameless uh, version. More Godzilla though. There, yeah, more Godzilla. More Godzilla. Not yeah. necessarily American Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> David Goyer, who, who co-wrote Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, uh, is been brought on board by Warner Brothers to do the Godzilla script. So this could actually elevate it to a little bit better state. Actually, it's Legendary Pictures who make who yeah. also make the Batman films. I don't know. I mean, that uh, if if it's done up anything like that tone, it's going to be a lot more like that very first Godzilla that was done in 1954, which is which is one of the pretty dark one of the, one of the great great horror science fiction films. You know, of the last 50, well, 60 years. Well, it's like anything. I mean, of, that in and of itself, the young, the original one. Yeah. Not the, oh, well, not the redubbed it's one. It's actually original. difficult in some spots to watch because of the people who are who are in hospitals dying from... Yeah. I mean, it has, like anything from that period of time in Japan cinema, there's a, there's a lot of Nagasaki sort of undertones to it. And it's very heavy going, but, but wonderful. And if this were to take that sort of tone... It may not be a lot of fun, but it sure would be great. Yeah, it'd be a great film. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. David Gordon. Um... What is this? Uh, the you know the Bourne thing. I I've yet to watch any of the Bourne stuff. Jr. Jr. and Bo are crazy about. It. I love the but Bourne but movies. the Jason Bourne stuff never did anything for me. But you got a Jason Bourne story. Yeah, I do have a Jason Bourne story. As those of you know who are fans, uh, we are getting a Matt Damonless Jason Bourne movie yes. now. Uh, we'll star Jeremy Renner. The idea is is that the name Jason Bourne is sort of a name that is grafted upon someone who's uh, working for whatever this corporate or whatever this company is that that makes people into super assassin killer. So it's sort of like a knighthood. I dubbed the well, Jason Bourne. Sorry, well, I don't know if they'll go that far. <laughs> but anyway, uh, former Hulk Edward Norton will be playing, yeah. will be playing the villain in oh, the next Jason man. Bourne film, The Bourne Legacy, which starts okay. shooting this fall for release in 2013, probably up against Superman. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. And the last story we have, I mentioned earlier, Walking Dead and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, AMC. AMC. Okay, you got a little snippet of uh, news about Walking Dead. Tiny bit for those of you going out there who are saying, when's the second season start? It's when's coming. The second season start. It is official. Sunday, October sixteenth. Uh, new time slot. They've moved it an hour later. I can't I, imagine why. Well, yeah, I think they want to be able to. Uh, Did you see the preview on Breaking Bad? There's He's bashing his head with a rock. Yeah, there, there's actually, a preview yeah, out there. yeah, there's a preview out there where the sheriff is is killing a killing a zombie with a rock, yeah, and rock. basically all he's doing is bashing the zombie's that, skull. That's in, your preview in, until until he has until he has there's like a, there's juice stuff yeah, flying yeah. up in the air. Yeah, he's, he's zombie <laughs> soup. Zombie soup. It's uh, coming your way October, right in time for Halloween. If you, Halloween, you, which makes all the sense in the world. Perfect. You know, when when do you when do you market horror stuff? What time of the year? December, February, April? No, Mother's October, Day. Halloween. Side story to Walking Dead. Even though that the first season is already out on DVD and Blu-ray, yeah. AMC is going to make those of you who are mega fans double dip because they're putting out a new set of season one oh, in October bastards. that comes with several episodes in black and white to ape the comic book. With commentary, which the first set didn't have. Oh, I've got the first set. God uh, damn it. Yeah, they're making you double dip. And if you spring for the special collector's edition, it comes with a, and I'm not kidding you. Free reach around. A zombie mask. <laughs> Hi, AMC. This is for you. <laughs> yeah, AMC, really. Do it the first time. Don't be double dipping people on TV seasons. This, this is the crap Marvel used to do. Yeah. Don't do that. With their folks. DVDs. It's terrible. Anyway, right. that's it. We're done with Finish Drive here. We've got no more franchise We're media dry. news. But you can go to the store's website and check out all of the media news that Joe, 
that bogus well, me, which I'm is not, not him, no. but all the reviews that this man gives me. I, post I up. do the reviews. And where's the store's website at? Hey. 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 I, hey. I have no clue hey. where. Where is she? Where is she? Yeah, Sarah. Uh, Goofy Palooza, I think. How do we get to the media, to the website, Sarah? www.myalternatereality.com. It's the last website you'll ever need. How sad. So, go to Star's website, check out all of his reviews and all of Bo's media news, and until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And it's JR. Saying. Hasta luego. Bye. So. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>